Freitas on the point, ready to bring the field down off of turn number four. R Crystal Murray, your defending Sport 4 champion. Richie Johnson, the rookie out of Middleborough on the outside of row number two. Taylor Bowser in the number seven. Mikey Lafort in the 13. Sam Matera in the four. Christine Cavallero in the 87. Those are your first four rows. Looking for the green, there it is. We're underway, and down into one. Justin Leduc gets the jump down into the corner and sets the pace off the second corner with Freitas and toe up on the outside. Don't look now for Crystal Murray and Richie Johnson getting hard charges on the inside and outside grooves. They sit several car lengths behind your leaders with Leduc leaning at lap number one. Jared Freitas takes a peek to the inside this time off a of turn number two. Down the back stretch they go, and the top four cars single file down the back stretch. Mikey Lafort working the outside. Of Taylor Bowser down into turn number three, trying to work himself up towards the top of the field as they cross the stripe to complete lap number two. Justin LeDuc continues to set the pace with the 47 of Jared Freitas up on the tail, takes a look to the outside, down into turn number three, and a little further behind, here comes Sam Matera in the four, down underneath the seven of Taylor Bowser, but settles in behind. And meanwhile, near the front of the field, LeDuc continues to set the pace. Richie Johnson all up behind Crystal Murray for in the moment of the turn three and four. There is something dangling off of the seven of Taylor Bowser as she rounds turn number four. LeDuc still your pace setter at lap number four. Well, that's not something dangling. That's a rear bumper cover hanging off the back of that number seven. That gives her the black flag and puts her behind the eight ball in that championship chase. Off of turn number four, Justin LeDuc continues to hold off the charges of Jared Freitas with Crystal Murray sitting third. Fourth is the eight of Richie Johnson in a little bit of a breakaway from the field as the 13 battles with the four, the 13 of Mikey Lafort and the four of Sam Mateo. They battle side by side for fifth. Freight is screaming down the back bumper of Justin LaDuke as they hit turns three and four. LaDuke will control his pace into turn four. Freight is still behind top four. Single file across the start finish line. Top four to top six where you want to be at the end of the to next Friday night in the standings for the championship chase for the cup. Down it to three and four and the zero two of Justin LeDuc continues to set the pace. A warning to Richie Johnson from the officials as he crosses the strike in that fourth position all over the back bumper of Crystal Murray. LeDuc. Still leading top four and a little bit of a breakaway from the rest of the field. Lafort finds himself in fifth. Sam Matera rounds out your top six. Well, Duke already won once this year, looking to make it two visits to Victory Lane for the Somerset native. He will lead at lap number 10. 10 laps down, 15 to go. As the top four continue, nose to tail down in the corner. LeDuc leading the parade down the back straight away. Jared Freitas taking a peek to the outside, settling it in, not giving up that inside lane. Crystal Murray is right there knocking on the door, taking a look to the outside as they hit turn number three. Settles back in as they hit three, one and two, with Richie Johnson mirroring her moves down the back straightaway. Yeah, Freitas all over LeDuc as well. Here comes Crystal Murray, tries to get a run on the inside, has to settle it back behind Jared Freitas. Johnson behind Murray. Caution is out for Dan Hayes in the middle of turn two we are slowed up for the first time at lap number 12. Yeah, Hayes comes to a halt up in turn number two just in front of the safety trucks and uh, as soon as that yellow came out he took off. It's a good way to bounce back. It's a little bit of a uh, sugar with that bitter pill to swallow. The field is set getting ready to roll off of turn number four. Eleven laps complete. The field thunders off of turn four. Green is out one more time. LeDuc and Freitas battle down into turn number one. Murray trying to squeeze in underneath the 47, but that red and white machine works the outside. Battles with LeDuc for the lead down into turn number three. Yeah, so half a car link behind the 02 machine as he rounds turn number four. He will set the pace at lap number 12. Murray Says, how do you do on the inside? Has to back off the throttle. Here comes Freitas right on the outside. Wheel to wheel with LeDuc down the back straight away. While well, they battle for the lead, here comes Mike LaFord into the top fours. He's gotten by Richie Johnson off the corner. 13 down, 12 to go as they hit turns one and two. Top three under a blanket off that second corner. And Justin LeDuc trying to hang on as Jared Freitas climbs that ladder up on the outside. They throw it in hard and deep down into turns three and four. 
down to the strike where Duke is able to hang on that time, but not by much. Crystal Murray is knocking on the door of the turn number two. She threw it in hard earlier, had to back off a little bit. Mikey LaFord comfortably in fourth. Here comes Sam Matera on the outside of Richie Johnson. She will overtake that fifth position briefly. Johnson gets it back, but Jared Freitas is your new leader at lap number 15. Up on the outside, Freitas using that top groove to find himself setting the pace down into three and four. Not able to shut the door yet. LeDuc continues the battle on the inside, but it is all Freitas at the top of the field as they hit turn number one. Jared takes over, sets the pace down into turn number three. Now Crystal Murray going to work. She takes a look to the inside of the 0-2. And LaDuke slid a little bit up the racetrack, able to gather her back in, take that second spot back from Murray's number 38. LaFort finds himself in fourth, running behind Crystal Murray. Jared Freud is setting the pace by about five car lengths, and it turns three and four. He sets the pace. LaDuke and Murray charging on the outside, don't have enough room. Across the stripe and second and third place still nose to tail battling for position down into turn one. LeDuc got a little bit squirrely. Murray closes right back on the back bumper. Takes a peek down to the inside. LeDuc finds the outside to his liking that time off of four. But here comes Murray down the front stretch. Takes a look down to the inside into turn number one. Nerf bar to Nerf bar. They battle into turns one and two. Murray will take a three-quarter of a car in length advantage with Freitas continuing to set the pace. Five laps to go. Top seven nose to tail. Sam Matera slid up the racetrack, able to gather it back in for the fifth spot. Drop it down the front straight away. Save it in. Bowser make contact. Bowser hard into the outside wall. Caution flag immediately flies. That's Wiggo into red as the East Coast Towing and Recovery crew heads over to check on the driver. Looking for the green off of turn number four, and uh, on the gas they go. Side by side, down is at turn number one, and Crystal Murray gets the jump up on the outside. Edges out ahead of Freitas off at two, as he tries to battle back, but it's Murray setting the pace down into turn number three. Off of four they come, Murray will set the pace by half a car length. Here comes Freitas, a hard charge on the outside. Not gonna get there, with Mikey LaFord settling it in for a third. Justin LeDuc will trail him, but the battle is up top. Wheel to wheel for the lead, and it turns three and four. Down into three and four they go, and Freitas works that bottom groove, trying to get back to the top of the leaderboard, but Murray holding him off by a half a car length. It's a stroke one more time. Three laps to go that time, and Freitas slides up just a little bit, slows up the momentum as the 13 works up on the back bumper of Jared Freitas with two to go. Murray sets the pace across the start finish line. Top five are single file. Murray into the back straightaway. Sets the pace with Freitas climbing up top. Here comes the four charging on the inside. Doesn't have the room. He'll have to throw it back behind for third. One flag is out. Crystal Murray comfortably in the lead. Murray sets the pace down as a one and two to solidly put herself at the top of the championship chase for the cup standings into three and four a five car length advantage she has she'll pick up the win as Jared Freitas will have to settle for second Mikey LaFourth third Justin LeDuc fourth and rounding out the top five will be Sam Matera in the number four with Dave Westgate making a return into sixth Richie Johnson seventh Andrew Whitman eighth Christine Cavallero ninth and Dan Hayes rounding out the top ten how about Crystal, I think you've uh, put it all out there that they've got to come through you for the championship this year. I can try. <laughs> Tell us about that late race restart. It looks like you were having, a tr having str you were struggling trying to get by Jared before that, but after that, the car just seemed to take off. Yeah, Jared had a good line. Glad to hear Taylor's okay. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. We had a good car. We just needed a little bit enough patience to get through it, and it worked out well. It's got to feel real good kicking off the chick cup to chase for the cup with a win here tonight yeah number two on the season took a bit but i'm glad i got it i know you got some people to thank yeah all my crew my sponsors my dad grandpa richie matt everybody who comes to support my mom everybody all of our sponsors uh jim hawkins truck and auto parts rich helger from helger south coast power equipment um but um uh, everybody who comes and supports thank you guys so much congratulations welcome back to victory lane good night jared Freitas and jared car looked real good until that restart late in the race uh yeah it was I just needed to be able to probably run my line, I guess, or whatever. But it was, it was still really good. I'm fortunate to be second. So, Second place in the first race for the chase has got to feel real good going into this. 
Yeah, I'm um, just going to take it one race at a time. Just fortunate to be here, really. I know you got some people to thank. Yep, want to thank God up above first and foremost. Um, Wayland City Collectibles on the car in Fairhaven. Our family business, L.H. Bland, just started as an alternate in New Bedford. Um, Danny and DJ, Jaden for everything, man. I couldn't do it without that kid. My parents, my wife, everybody. I'm just super blessed to be here. Congratulations, great run for third place finisher, Mikey LaFort. And Mikey, it looked like this car got better as the race went on. Yeah, uh, I was fighting a little bit of a handling issue today with this car, um, and I could, couldn't get it, so finally I said, let me throw a big swing at it, and I think the big swing might help us out a little bit to at least get ahead on the podium. Late race charge really helped you out there. Yeah, I just uh, said, uh, let me just keep my foot in it and uh, hope for the best, and I was under Jared, but I don't want to run him dirty. We're in the chase, so why bother getting wrecking equipment for no reason at all? Good thinking. I know you got some people you want to thank. I really just... Uh, Good thing my main man, man. Richie and Amy, and Amy, Rich and Amy have great people to me. They take care of me a lot. I gotta point out my dad. My dad actually uh, had a rough weekend, a rough week. He's out, he came out here to watch today. And uh, Kyle Casper, uh, my wife, my kids, um, our whole team, man. RHR is such a great team to hang out with everybody and be with everybody. We like to keep the energy up, you know what I mean? And I also have to thank you and Seacock and everybody else around here for coming out and watching us. Whether you like me or you hate me, I'm in podium finish again. Congratulations. Good luck.